Hello guys and welcome to the last video in the series on how to create your character controller. This time around I'm going to be using this same video for two different classes, the basic class and the advanced section. So IGME 219 and IGME 317. So for that purpose what I'm going to be doing is trying to kill two birds with one stone and inside my IGME folder if you are missing one of the videos I created just a new folder which is using the my username as a student so i have the teachers and i have the students username in this one i have a couple of assets that are just pertinent to the igme 317 section which is you know including all of the new skin that we have been working with for that class uh, in either case for both of those sections what i did was create a or ask for a an idle cycle and a new scare cycle so I provided a couple of them, but now we're going to be replacing them with the ones that you have created. So for that purpose, first things first, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say hit import. I have that post idle and that have that mix and most swing dancing uh, cycles. So I'm going to import that and it's going to say what is the skeleton you want to attach this. This is going to be the basic escape uh, phrase skeleton. That's the one that we have uh, been working with. And I'm just going to say convert scene unit and I'm going to hit import. And this is going to take a little bit of... Uh, a couple of seconds so i'm just going to pause the video here and continue once that is done importing so now we're back and i have the two animations and as you can see it's using the preview for the freddy character and um, that is just because that well that is the one that it has been uh, using the skeletons that the, the default mesh that is going to represent these animations for this particular skeleton so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my teachers folder lab igm and what I want to do is copy a couple of things. So first of all, this AVS Freddy doesn't really mean a lot to me. So I'm going to change that to AVS idle to run. That is the actual animation that this thing is going to do. So it's going from an idle cycle to a run cycle. And I'm going to take that AP Freddy, AVP idle to run. And I'm going to also be taking this uh, Freddy game mode. Remember the game mode is the thing that is going to tell what is the actual uh, default character my scene is going to have. So I'm going to take all of these notice that i'm skipping freddy i'm gonna take them in and i'm gonna drag and drop inside of my username so that is going to be not a move here copy here i want to create a copy of these assets so i copy them really easily this one is going to be a little bit different i'm gonna right click on it i'm gonna say create child blueprint class so what this thing is going to do for me is it's going to let me uh, inherit all the properties as the parent class uh, but i can have a different name to it and in this case i will be just naming it LAV8998, that's my student's username, and I will just drag and drop that inside of my folder. Now, this time around, I don't want to copy, I want to move that in place. So I have all of the things that I need at this point, but it's time for me to start modifying these properties. So this game mode is going to be um, for the sake of this LAV8998. Idle to run is going to be a new one, so underscore LAV8998, and then ABP Freddy underscore 8998, um, LAV8998, that is. So I have all of these files. Um, the blueprint class that is a child, I'm going to double click on that, and I don't want to be using this uh, Freddy if you're in the regular section don't worry about it this is just an extra step uh, you can skip but i'm going to be using this uh, character now the animation class that i want to use is not ab p freddy c it's going to be lab 8998 so that is the new one that i have prepared so it's going to compile and save that and then i'm going to double click on my game mode so inside of my game mode i'm also not going to be using bp freddy i'm going to be using Freddy 8998, compile and save. And then I want to use my idle to run. So idle to run, it's using that Freddy uh, preview. That's totally fine. I don't need to change anything here. This is just the preview of the character. But what I want to do is replace that idle with my own idle. See, now if I hold control, it's like that. And it's going to start walking slowly and then it's going to run, but it's going to be using my idle cycle. That's the only thing that I need to change on that end. Um, and then what you want to do is open your Freddy LAV 
part of your Freddy character. Um, i open that up. And these blueprint, just gonna close all of these guys is going to be pretty much executing the same thing now it might have that issue i need to compile it so it updates the animation and now one thing that i want to definitely do is open my animation graph inside of my animation graph the idle to run needs to be replaced to your new idle to run which is going to be your abs idle to run 8 and your username so I'm going to connect that here and I'm going to connect that here. Um, so it doesn't matter if you don't see the um, extra space uh, that was giving you the alignment. It is totally the same thing. It is just having the preview of, oh, this is going to be an animation blend space that is divided into four quadrants. So nothing, it's not really relevant. I'm going to go back to my jump to idle and my scare jump. Instead of doing that scare jump, what I will do is drag and drop my own inside of the result. So I have that going to compile and save and that is basically it for this character controller i'm just going to hit play and what i have is the original freddy so that is because i have not changed the game mode and for that i need to be in the world settings if you can't see the world settings that is going to be on the window and then world settings then right under game mode i will be selecting my freddy lav agent and that is going to be it and i have my idle and if i do the scared it's going to start doing that scare cycle. So that's going to be it for this video for the regular section. For the advanced section, though, uh, what I would like you guys to do is uh, rename these to your actual character. So do something like BPC. In this case, this guy is going to be Bonnie. Um, and then your username. Um, in my case, LAV8998. Freddy, also, same idea. It is going to be replaced by the name of your character, Bonnie. Um, this one, the idle to run, doesn't matter because it's really just the name of the idle to run. But the ABP needs to be named as it should. And that's basically it. The animations are shared among all of the different assets, so those are fine. The Boni, it's the same. Uh, this one needs to be changed. Um, Adventure Blend Space, it's also one of those animations that is interchangeable, so you can leave that there. The character controller and the game mode, both of them need to be renamed to the proper one. And now, that is it for both sections. What you are going to end up having is your Freddy character moving around in the world, um, whatever is the skin that you are using, and then you should be able to just do the general dance. Now, for either one of the sections, if you change the game mode to the regular Freddy one, not your username, it is going to have the regular. So I can really easily change the game mode that this character is uh, using or performing. So that is going to be it for this video. And as usual, 